Hey guys, going to show you today how to use this new updated way of accessing Pinocchio and all the great apps that are inside of it, including Face Fusion, Face Swapping, Comfy UI, Automatic 111, and uh, should say 1111, and everything else. So I've rented my instance. We're going to wait about two minutes for this to fully load up. Fast forward that for now. Okay, it's going to pop up in just a second. You'll see it switch from connecting to open. I thought I was able to guess it. Guess not. Wait a few more seconds, there we go. Connecting. We have open. So, you click that open. Sometimes it won't work the first couple times. It's gotta fully load up. It says open before it's actually ready, but here we go. Now we're into the bones of it. This is what you're gonna to wanna to use, the Selkie's low latency desktop option. All these other options are for other things. Uh, you don't have to worry about those right now. We'll keep it simple. So you click on that. And it's going to load for a few seconds. A lot of loading and waiting here at the beginning, but it'll all be worth it once you're able to rock that 4090. All right, click start. Double click the Pinocchio. It's going to load Pinocchio up for you. I'm going to get rid of this silly little notification down here. I don't like to share with Google, so nope, no thank you. Opens Chrome for no reason, but let's go. Click save. All right, you go to the Discover page, find the app you're looking for. Today we're going to use Face Fusion. Click on that, one click install. Believe it or not, it's actually more than one click, but it's under five, so we'll give them that. Keep checking back to make sure that I'm keeping this video on time. So I'm gonna fast forward now for a bit. It's gonna take just under 10 minutes to load all the dependencies here. So come back when that's ready. So once you get to the end of the dependencies, you're going to see this Save As button. Click that. Give it a few seconds. And Install. You're going to click the Install twice. There. And we wait again for a few minutes. Alright, I fast forwarded this into 10 seconds. It took about just under five minutes on my computer. Installation complete. Now you're ready to go. Let's hit some benchmark tests. See how this 5090 really performs. It's going to download some dependencies. It's a lot of waiting the first time you run it, but once these things are out of the way, you don't have to worry about them again. Okay. So I'm going to run the 5090 at its max Q, max thread count. Um, 32 and 4 and we'll see what we get and now you can see with the tensor RT running at 32 and 4 uh, tolerant memory we get a result of almost 200 frames frames per second at 240p thanks for watching we'll see you next time